Good morning, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So, thought I'd talk a little bit about the bond market this morning. A lot of people are confused by bond yields, bond interest rates, bond prices. Um, it's a very confusing kind of market if you're not quite understanding what's going on. And so, I thought I'd give you kind of the uneducated breakdown of what bonds are and bond yields. And so, if you can imagine a bond, like it's the only bond in existence, it's a, it's a thousand dollar bond, has a face value of a thousand dollars, and it has a 10% coupon attached to it. Now, they call it a 10% coupon because back in the day, I, well, I don't know, maybe they still do, but back in the day, they used to have like coupons attached to the bottom of these bonds that you could tear off and cash in. And so if it was a 10 year bond that had a face value of $1,000 that had a 10% coupon attached to it, then once a year you would be able to cash in one of these coupons for $100. So if you can imagine that a couple of years gone by and the issuer of the bond issues another one. So now you're gonna buy two of these bonds and it's the only two bonds in existence, right? And now this bond has an 8% interest rate attached to it. So now you got this bond that's going to pay over the course of 10 years, $80 once a year. So you're looking at your two bonds. One of them is going to be due in eight years, and it's going to pay you $800 over the course of those eight years. And then you have another one that's going to pay you $800 over the course of 10 years. And your buddy comes to you and says, hey, man, what you got there? And you're saying, well, I got my two bonds. Yeah, how much do they pay? Well, this one pays an 8% over 10 years. This one pays 10%. Over the next eight years, they're both going to have a yield to maturity of $800, but this one's going to pay off two years earlier. The guy says, yeah, you want to sell one of those things? Yeah, sure. Which one do you want? Well, I want the one that pays off earlier, obviously. Okay, well, that one comes with the premium. You see how that works? So just kind of imagine that you have these bonds that pay an interest rate and how much somebody's willing to pay you for them. Because the interest rates are going down on the bonds, the premium that you can sell these for starts going up. Then if the demand for your bond, just the simple demand for it, people really, really want it, starts going up, then the yield on that 10-year bond can go negative. Meaning that somebody is so willing to buy your bond from you that the amount that they pay you means that they are not going to get back as much money as what they've invested into the bond. And they end up with a negative yield. Uneducated economist, I hope that helps. Here, let me give you guys a shot of the river. You guys have a good morning.